All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. Guns, guns will be taken. No one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. Revolutionary militant with the intent to fight the government until every shell is spent. AKs and hand grenades is what I'm dealing with. Ready to die for my rights. And if you ain't feeling it, then you fake as shit. You ain't a patriot. Open your eyes wide. It's time you face the kid. Kanye, this goes way beyond some racist dish. George Bush is not a Christian, he's a Satanist. You say it sounds absurd. You don't know what I know. Haven't seen the videos of the Bohemian Grove. Big ups to Alex Jones, the tyranny is exposed. Uncle Sam. Doesn't know that he's dealing with pros Put some Williams military, this is TCM If they declare martial law, let the beef begin The chance is slim, we'll never have our freedoms again If most of us are convinced that packing heat is a sin it, you feel it Deep down in your spirit There's no need to fear it The revolution's coming soon I feel it, you feel it Deep down in your spirit there's no need to fear it The revolution's coming soon Do it, you feel it Deep down in your spirit There's no need to fear it The revolution's coming soon I feel it, you feel it Deep down in your spirit There's no need to fear it the Yes, we can! Attention, attention, attention people being arrested and frisked and slammed down on the ground down there at the, at the base. What's going on there? They're probably uh, most likely just giving up uh, resistance, saying, you know, we don't want help. They're probably uh, pushing people around and stuff like that. It's likely just giving up uh, resistance, saying, you know, we don't want help, and, you know, we don't want help, and, you know, we don't want help. We're at the camp. Oh, uh, Fanny The guys are in a bit of exercises now. Um, they do feel well. So the camp camp situation is going good with the uh, disarmament and things? Oh, yeah. Because we saw them over there disarming people. Is that what the exercise is? Yeah, the exercise now, yeah. Fantastic. That's... Where are you from, sir? Well, Holland. Oh, okay. From the best Marines. Local police in Alameda and Oakland working with the military, the U.S. military, the U.S. Marine Corps and Urban Warrior, as well as foreign troops, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, foreign troops right there on your screen. And having, speaking of screens, computers, satellites, tracking and watching. Meanwhile, the cameras are going up. It's time for us all to realize what's happening here. There you have it, tracking the population. My friends, this is totally unconstitutional, and looking at a historical reference, it is terrifying to see military working with police, then you add in foreign troops, paid actors saying, we're Americans, you can't do this to us. They're conditioning the police, the military, and the public. Think about it.
it's clear the American people have been designated the enemy. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it's the federal government that is destroying the sovereignty of this nation, the United States of America. It is their problem. They're the crisis. They're the threat. They're the terrorist. And I'm sad to see our military and our police being merged and to see them changing from peace officers and defenders of the country into thugs and bullies for the bureaucrats and their foreign banker globalist controllers. Guns, guns will be taken. Yeah, no one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. Today in New Orleans, they got a lot tougher on the holdouts. Police department in Cornwall! Not only the flooded areas, but New Orleans' driest and wealthiest neighborhoods, too. Police department! The police and National Guard going street by street, house to house. We need to make sure, too, that uh, whenever we knock on doors, people refuse to leave. We need to make note, call it in. They say there are no orders to use force, just strong persuasion, sometimes entering open houses with guns drawn and instructions to disarm anyone inside. You say homeowners had armed themselves to protect their mansions. Residents were handcuffed on the ground. In the end, police took their weapons but let them stay in their homes. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. Chris Montgomery says he'd rather be in Iraq than patrolling American neighborhoods. Walking up and down these streets, you don't, you don't want to think about the stuff that you're going to have to do. Somebody pops around the corner. Let me shoot an American. Yeah. Let me shoot an American. Yeah. Let me shoot an American. Yeah. It was traumatic. All of a sudden, they were banging on the front door, the side door, and the back door, and they said, let us in. Patty tried to explain. She was on dry land, she had plenty of food and water, and didn't want to abandon her dogs. But it didn't matter. If you see six or eight police that look like linebackers pushing you in a corner, you're, you're in shock. I'm saying, look at all my food. I got plenty of food. They kept pushing me back, pushing me back, and ended up like this. Then, Patty showed them a small revolver she was carefully holding in the palm of her hand. A camera crew was there to capture what unfolded next. I said, it's not even loaded. And I dropped it on the floor. You got a gun, well, they punched me in the face. Look at my black and blue marks. Look at, look at what they did to me. They dragged me out of here. I really thought they were going to kill me. Three quick examples. We had Walmart deliver three trucks of water, trailer trucks of water. FEMA turned them back. They said we didn't need them. This was a week ago. Uh, FEMA, uh, we had a hundred, we had a thousand gallons of diesel fuel on a Coast Guard vessel docked in my parish. The Coast Guard said, come get the fuel right away. When we got there with our trucks, they got a word. FEMA says, don't give you the fuel. Yesterday, yesterday, FEMA comes in and cuts all of our emergency communication lines. They cut them. FEMA comes in and cuts all of our emergency communication lines. They cut them. Spirit, there's no need to fear it. The revolution's coming soon. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore!